Well, I bought another uh, pest repeller. Uh, this this time it's around 200 uh, peso. So uh, it doesn't appear to be using a 555. Uh, I look at the marking. Uh, generally, uh, when people don't want the, when a company doesn't want uh, a device, electronic device, uh, to be reverse engineered, they wipe out the the markings is wiped out. So I'm not you. I'm not sure what the uh, this chip is about. Uh, pin one and two. Pin eight is power. Pin one is ground. Uh, when I look at the reverse or obverse um, it's not a 555 five, five because there's no uh, there's no there's no trace on pin 3 so if you look at the square pads which is this that's pin 1 nothing is connected to pin 2 3 and 4 uh, but something is connected to 5 6 7 and 8 uh, 8 being the uh, 5 volts pin 1 being the ground. Uh, looking at this, pin 5 is the output. Pin 5 is the output driving a transistor. I measure the voltage on the uh, output. It doesn't seem to be pulsating, so I'm gonna scope it and see what happens. Pin 1 is actually power, pin 8 is ground. So I have it set for 5 volts. So again, it's AC coupled uh, through a capacitor, but this time they actually have a zener uh, to clamp the upper voltage out of the bridge to 5 volts. So getting better. Let's see what the signal looks like. So the output of the uh, of the chip is well, lo and behold, it's actually changing in frequency all the way to 50 kilohertz, 53. Okay, and then. Uh, That's interesting. I would go up to seven. Oh, now it goes down to twenty-four. So, um, well, I'm kind of happy that it does change dynamically from uh, start at twenty-four kilohertz, then it goes all the way to um, eighty. I know this. All right. Now, what does it do? Uh, with the transducer, how does it look like? Well, that's the uh, signal at the collector. Um, it's changing frequency, but the uh, the scale is really small. And uh, and quite frankly, the, it, again, it's another circuit that wouldn't work. The, the the frequency is actually not at the not all the at the ultrasonic. See that's the problem. It's another device that wouldn't work. Ah, it's frustrating. Yeah, I, I can understand the output of the micro is changing from 24 kilohertz to. Uh, 80 but the actual uh, driving of the transducer is not at the range where you uh, you're looking at I, I really don't want to design my own uh, repeller but you know, the, so the first one I bought, 
was fake, empty shells. Second, uh, second one I bought, it's driven by 555, but not at the, it's not driving it properly. And this one, um, you know, it, it, at the Lazada, it's, uh, you know, it, it, they made it, they make it look, sound like, or read like, it's the, uh, the solution for all my pest problem. Um, right now, uh, the pharmacy has a big rat, and it's just uh, going around eating uh, whatever it feels like eating. So I have to dispose of those things that the, the rat ate. I mean, it's it just, it just crazy. Uh, and. Uh, at, at the personal level, it, it's cheaper to actually buy these than for me to spend my time to design one and make it work. So, I mean, I mean how many more pest repeller I need to buy at Lazada uh, and investigate that it, it does work? Uh, it looked like the only way to make a propeller to make one uh, is to make one. So this one around 200 pesos. So do I have to buy one of those thousands of dollar a uh, peso of uh, repeller and then take it apart to make sure it does something? Anyway, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, install it anyway. Hoping for the best. Does it work? <laughs> and it looked like it's not gonna work, but <laughs> forever optimistic. Yeah. Looked like I'm gonna have to build one. Well, I wanted to see if I can improve the driving of the uh, ultrasonic. So basically, the resistor to the base uh, of the transistor. Transistor is S9014. Uh, it's an NPN. And uh, let me see if I can improve it by adding a capacitor across the 1K to the, uh, to the base of the NPN. Typically, when you do that, you overdrive the uh, transis transistor into hard uh, saturation. I used to do that uh, with some circuit designs uh, when I was doing circuit design. So let's see what happened. So this is what it looked like before, and I'll do the after. So I have paralleled the 1K with uh, 231. That's uh, 2 nanofarad, 2.3 nanofarad. So I'm driving the transistor hard. And so this is the output. The uh, the energy uh, uh, created by the transducer is actually these spikes. The the transducer needs a shadow, a shallow, a sharp, narrow pulse. Uh, it needs to be kick. Uh, you might say kick in the ass uh, to actually generate that noise. Um, let's see here, my scale is 1 volt, 1 volt for division. Uh, in theory, the, this should work in theory. Let's see, 1 volt for division, 1, 2, 3, uh, less than 5 volts. So let's see what the, the false is like. So it is now what? That's my nano, uh, 50 nano per division. 
P. P. Or 59 or. So, uh, you have this, and that's our 50 division. I suppose oh. well, the to actually work uh, it has to work at resonance and um, in some ways it's sort of work Uh, wider, so it needs an inductor to give to give it more kick. Well, I'll hit it this way. Uh, maybe it does work. I don't see the dogs uh, around me, so maybe they're being repelled. Don't know. We'll see. I don't know if it's working. The uh, the repeller is plugged in. <laughs> uh, yeah. They clicked. By the repeller? No, you're not. <laughs> Uh, another one busted. <laughs> <laughs>